Today, I will present to you a prototype for an automatic trash can integrated with sensors done with Arduino Uno in Tinkercad software that can automatically open the lid when it detects the people who want to throw out their garbages and closes the lid after a certain time. It can also detect the level of garbages that are inside the trash can. The components which are integrated in this trash can are Arduino Uno, two ultrasonic distance sensor, piezo or buzzer, positional microservo, red LED, orange LED, two 220 ohms resistors, 9 volts battery, and a breadboard. This is the connection setup for this project. The trigger pin and the echo pin of the first ultrasonic sensor are connected to pins 4 and 3 of the Arduino Uno, VCC to 5 volts and ground to ground. For the LEDs, you will need to attach a resistor with 220 ohms to prevent excess current that can burn out the LED. The LEDs are connected to pins 5 and 6 while the buzzer is to pin 7 of Arduino Uno. While the trigger pin and echo pin of the second ultrasonic sensor are connected to pins 8 and 9, VCC to 5 volts and ground to ground. The signal of the servo motor is connected to pin 2 of Arduino Uno. The code is pretty simple. First, I define the constants and variables that will be used throughout the code. Then, I define the pin mode in the setup section and initialize serial communication. I also declare the servo main attach at pin 2. So let's continue to the void loop. For the code of the first ultrasonic sensor, this is the calculation of distance by reading the values received from the ultrasonic sensor. 0 0.034 multiplied by duration over 2 to calculate the storage left inside the trash can. For the LEDs, I used if-else-if statement. If distance is less than 10 cm or below 10 cm, the red LED will activate. Else, if the distance is from 30 to 10 cm, the orange LED will activate. Else, the orange and red LED remain turned off. For the buzzer, I used if-else statement. So, when the distance is less than 10 cm, the buzzer gets activated here, which means that the trash can needs to be emptied. For the code of the ultrasonic sensor 2, this time, I define the variables with 2 at the end of its name in order to avoid any confusion on the code. So, it also calculates the distance received from the ultrasonic sensor, 0 0.034 multiplied by duration over 2. I used if-else statement. If the sensor detects an object at a distance less than 50 cm, the servo motor will rotate 45 degrees from its position, else it will stay at its original position. I also code this to monitor the space left in the trash can and the distance of an object from the trash can. The output can be seen on the serial monitor. There is an ultrasonic sensor which is placed from the downside of the center of the lid. This sensor measures the depth of the trash can, detect the level of the garbage, then send that information to the Arduino which is hidden inside the lid. The Arduino will then compute this given information. When it reaches to a certain level like from 30 to 10 cm, the orange LED will produce light. It indicates that the trash can is almost full. When the sensor calculated that the level of garbage inside the trash can is below 10 cm, the Arduino will trigger the red LED and the buzzer. It means that the trash can is full and needs to be cleaned.
There is another ultrasonic sensor placed in front of the trash can, while the servo motor is at the back to control the lead of the trash can. The servo motor is used to rotate or to open the lid if the ultrasonic sensor detects any object like a hand, for example, it will trigger the Arduino to calculate its distance and if it is less than a certain value, which is predefined like 30 cm, Arduino will activate the servo motor to open the lid and after a certain time, the lid will automatically close.